When Gracie Boudreau was nine years old, she was diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a thickening of her heart muscle. At age 11, she began to notice problems with her balance while at elementary school. When I was in fifth grade, my classroom was upstairs and um, I like needed to hold on to the hand, handrail at all times. After several doctor visits, it was discovered through a blood test that Gracie had Friedrich's ataxia, a rare neuromuscular disease that mainly affects the nervous system and heart. My energy is low and um, it deteriorates my nervous system, so I'm very unbalanced and it also causes the heart disease to get progressively worse so it can cause early death. A Friedrich's ataxia is a disease where cells are not making enough energy. So those tissues that are dependent on a high energy uh, content like muscles and nerves and hearing and, and eyes, the sensory um, cells start to degenerate. Dr. John Doucet is Dean of Science and Technology at Nichols State University and a professor of human and environmental genetics. He says that Gracie's condition is due to a mutation of one of 20 to 25,000 genes in her body. A gene is a sequence of instruction in a person's DNA that determines inherited traits. Every person has two copies of each gene, one inherited from each parent. When some of that DNA is mutated, of course, genetics focuses on the mutation to try to identify it, to try to ameliorate, or ameliorate it, and to try to help um, um, improve the health of individuals that might have that mutation. Making that task somewhat easier is the fact that Friedrich's ataxia, or FA, is more prevalent among Cajuns. Cajuns are an example of what geneticists call a founder population, individuals separated from a larger group now sharing a smaller gene pool Generations of intermarriage among Acadian descendants has caused FA and other genetic conditions to be more prevalent within their community. For researchers trying to trace gene changes, this is significant. Now we know that all these individuals are related, so they must, or chances are they have the same mutation, and we can identify it. With that power, we can also identify where on each long piece of DNA called a chromosome that mutation exists. In the 1990s, mutations in the frutaxin gene were identified as the underlying cause of FA, which opened the door to developing treatments. Just last year, clinical trials of a new drug demonstrated significant improvement in neurological function in FA patients. It's called omaviloxalone. It um, limits the progression of FA. The drug is going through the FDA approval process and Gracie hopes it will be distributed soon. Currently a senior at South Lafouche High School, Gracie continues to be proactive in her health care and planning for her future. I stay positive through exercise. Exercise is known to slow the progression down. It gives me hope that whenever treatment does come, I'm still gonna have some mobility and some strength. She's uh, planning on going to college. Uh, that's going to be her next challenge in life, going off to, on her own and seeing how uh, college life is and to become independent.